Dear students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So, in last session, we have started a new concept that is car aerodynamics, and that we have already completed in last session. So, in today's session, we will discuss about optimization of drag. Right? What is drag that we have already uh, understood in last session? So, in today's session, we will discuss about optimization of drag or automotive device that reduce the air resistance so in today's session we will discuss about first of all optimization of drag second one that is different type of optimization techniques or you can take instrument or you can take uh, different uh, automotive device that reduce the air resistance and third one that is car trim right so let's start the lecture lecture number 12 that related to optimization of drag so the first and important one that is optimization of drag so it is very clear first of all what is drag right or what is uh, air resistance right so if you drive your car so you can find out that it takes some energy to move the car through the air so that is known as air resistance so now what is optimization of drag so here first and important one that is Aerodynamic devices are provided to take the advantage of air flow around the vehicle or you can take you can use aerodynamic device so that you can directly understand or you can take how to reduce how to reduce the air resistance right so second one and important one that is some device increase the effectiveness of air flow here I have attached the second table that related to some device increase the effectiveness of air flow within the body of the vehicle and create the down force to increase the traction so if you create the down force in last session we, we understand driving force right friction force braking force so we, we also understand the down force so it create the down force to increase the traction right or you can take first of all what is traction so traction is so it generally related to your friction so friction that related to uh, wheel or you can take uh, car body wheel and surface or you can take a road surface right so this is what optimization of drag so move forward to next slide so second one that related to optimization of drag or you can take uh, different device to reduce the air resistance so here i have attached four different device to reduce the air resistance first one that is spoiler second one that is front air dam third one that is venturi tunnel and fourth one that is diffuser these are the four main device to reduce the air resistance right so move forward to next slide so let's talk on that so first of all what is spoiler so here i have attached two images that directly related to spoiler so in rare part in car body you can see the rare part here i have attached the spoiler right here you can see the square road right that is called spoiler that related to that create a high pressure area that pushes down on the rear of the car right so this is what spoiler so now what do you understand by spoiler the basic definition so it is just like an automotive device whose intended design function is to spoil unfavorable air movement across a vehicle body so this is called spoiler generally it is attached to the rear part of the car body second one that is spoiler are fitted to race and high performance sports car so now we can talk about the application so what is the application so spoiler are fitted to the race and high performance of sports car in generally you can see the in sports car you can find out this spoiler so they have become common on passenger vehicle also third one that is a common spoiler diffuser air by increasing amount of turbulence flowing over the shape spoiling the laminar flow here in first image you can find out rare create or you can find out a rare spoiler create a high pressure area that pushes down on rear of the car so fourth one that is material which material are used for that particular spoiler so here i have attached three different material that related to spoiler first one that is fiberglass second one that is silicon and third one that is carbon fiber 
according to application you can use this particular spoiler right so move forward to second one attach the same image of spoiler in rare part you can find out the square rule right so that is called spoiler it generally create a high pressure right so move forward to next slide so second one that is front air dam so here i have attached two image that directly related to front air dam it just like a spoiler but it is attached at the front part as you can uh, find out at front part and at the bottom of, the, of your car body right you can find out that particular front air dam right so what is the function of front air dam so here first and important one that is a front air dam or you can find out a front spoiler is position under or integrated with the front bumper right second one that is in racing right in racing the spoiler is used to control the dynamic of handling related to the air in front of the vehicle so this is the main objective of front air dam it's just like a spoiler but it is attached at the front part and at, at the bottom of a car body right second one that is this can be improve the drag coefficient of the body or to generate the down force right so we have already uh, done braking force friction force uh, driving force so this can be improve the drag coefficient if you improve the drag coefficient then it can it can directly improve the performance of the vehicle right so this is what front air dam so in passenger vehicle the focus shift more to directing the air flow into the engine bay for cooling purpose so it is generally used for cooling purpose it is generally used for or, or you can take to decrease the air resistance and increase the vehicle performance so this is what front air dam so move forward to next slide so here i have attached the same image so that you can directly understand the front air dam so here at the front part and at the bottom level you can find out the front air dam so move forward to third one the one that is venturi tunnel so here i have attached one image so that you can directly understand venturi tunnel so as you can find out in image you can find out the shape of venturi tunnel that increase the down force and that decrease the air resistance and also it improve the vehicle performance right so first of all venturi tunnel just like the venturi to observe in the figure second one that is it use the construction of flow to generate the high speed to reduce the air resistance and improve the vehicle performance right second one that is the venturi tunnel say increase the velocity of the mass of air flowing through it lowering the pressure and generating the down force so it is very important first of all venturi tunnel is very important it generally increase the down force yes you can uh, drive your car so so that you can find out the air resistance right so the down force is very important so it generally improve or you can take it generally increase the down force so here i have attached the same image of venturi tunnel so that, that you can directly understand the concept right so move over to next slide so next one that is diffuser so as you can find out from where this particular part is inserted right so at the rear part you can find out in image at the rear part and at the bottom of your uh, car body this particular diffuser are attached and generally increase the down force and it generally increase the vehicle performance right as you can see in image that if you drive your car so it takes some energy to move the car through the air right so it generally increase the vehicle performance so first of all what is diffuser so here first part a diffuser is a portion of the underbody which is shaped to create the elongation increase the large air volume below the rear of the car as you can find in image at the rear part and at the bottom level you can find out this particular diffuser second one it help to accelerate the air it help to accelerate if you drive uh, your car so it help to accelerate the air under the car which reduce the pressure right third one that is it can also help it can also help to redirect the air flow upward further improving down force so ultimately it create the down force and it generally improve the vehicle performance or so next topic that is car body trim so first of all what is car body trim so it is generally related to design of your car body it is generally related to design or you can take attractive design of your car body right so first of all what is car body trim 
so it refers to the item that can be added exterior and the interior part of an automobile to increase its appeal so first of all car body that related to design or attractive design of your car and that related to both part exterior car body and interior car body that is some are used to protect the car from unwanted damage that can be caused by surrounding vehicle at parking lot it is generally related to application according to application you can attach or you can uh, design exterior car body or interior car body right so third one that is consumer looking for car trim will be able to purchase item such as special paint protective add-ons and bumpers so this is very important to uh, uh, reduce the accident or you can take reduce the damage right fourth one that is automotive interior mainly known as automotive trim are largely made up of plastic component so this is what car body trim car body trim that generally related to your car body design so here i have attached two image that related to exterior car trim and second one that is interior car trim so in left side uh, left image you can find out the interior car trim and in right side you can find out the exterior car trim so there are mainly two types of car trim first of all exterior car trim and second one that related to interior car trim right so in exterior car trim you can take uh, protective add ons plastic bumper and you, if you take uh, interior car trim so that you can find out wood trim and second one that is high end interior car trim right in image you can find out exterior and interior car trim it generally related to attractive design of your car so that you can directly uh, create interest right this is what car body trim so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have uh, completed two topics that related to optimization of drag and the second topic that is car body trim so in next session we will discuss about crash worthiness and second topic that is ventilation and heating system so thank you thank you so much